Good morning guys, welcome back to my channel. This week I sort of ran into the same predicament that I had last week where I just wasn't filming very much in the thrift stores but I think that's because I have been so busy and anxious this week and I've had a lot going on and so I just decided I was going to do what I did last week and show you guys what I thrifted throughout the week. With that being said, I booked my boyfriend and I a short little trip next week for spring break and so most of the pieces I grabbed this week are for that trip. So I wanted to show you guys what I was packing for my spring break trip with what I thrifted this week and also I have a couple other pieces sprinkled in like Princess Polly or just things that I'm going to bring and show you guys what's gonna come with me in my bag. I'm not gonna say where I'm going yet because I'm gonna be filming there, but I will say it's beachy though. A lot of this is very warm weather, spring oriented, obviously spring break. And so if you're new here, my name is Lily. I'm gonna link my Instagram and my Depop right here. And it's also linked in my bio. So I would love if you guys haven't yet already to check those out and subscribe to my channel. Let's jump into it. I'm gonna start off with these vintage chic tan cutoff shorts. They are these high-waisted baggy cutoff shorts with a raw hem bottom. They are ultra high rise, they're super flattering, they snatch in your waist but kind of still have a baggy look to them. And I just love these. I feel like these can go with like a strapless top over the trip or if I bring a bikini and just want to wear that in a bikini top walking around just because it gets hot. I feel like that's going to be a really good piece to have over spring break. Then I got this vintage Speedo swimsuit. It is this neon bright green ruched swimsuit with a super high cut waist and a scoop neckline and a very low scoop back. And I just love this. I'm obsessed with this. It's a little thick, so I don't know that I'll necessarily wear it as like a swimsuit, but I feel like as a bodysuit with jean shorts and jeans and everything, I think this is just gonna be so cute. And I love the color and look at how bright it is. It makes your tan pop. So I love this and I'm super excited to style that. Oh, by the way, everything that I'm packing, I'm gonna say that I'm packing because I'm not packing everything. Some of it's just not spring break stuff, but these are coming with me and this is coming with me. The next piece is not a thrifted piece, but it is this insane princess polly it is called the nelly mini dress and it looks just like a vintage pucci slip mini dress the colors are so pretty so springy everything about this dress is perfect it ties around the back and it's so flattering on and i feel like this could just be styled with sandals and a bag or heels or even sneakers just like air force ones just to walk around for the day so i really really love this that is being packed next piece i got was this vintage oversized pink and blue plaid button down it's like this it's almost like it's like 3d i feel like the way it looks but I just love plaid. I feel like I said that in my last video and I feel like this with a white tank and jean shorts would just be the perfect beach cover up and it's 100% silk. So the material is super like breezy and breathable, which is very important, especially in hot places. So that will probably be packed and I don't know that I'll wear it, but I feel like my issue is that if I have a suitcase that has extra room in it, I'm bringing another outfit. Like my suitcase is going to be packed to the brim with outfits and I'll probably only wear like three of them. I get so picky the day of, like I can plan my outfits in advance, but if it's the morning of and I don't wanna wear that outfit, it will ruin my day if I have to wear that outfit. So I love to have options. So there's lots of stuff that's probably gonna be coming with me. Next piece I got is this vintage Forever 21 blue, green, pink, brown, red striped halter top. It's got like a wrap neckline and it has a form-fitting shape. I really love this. I feel like it's the perfect basic. It reminds me a lot of what like Urban Outfitters and everywhere are going to probably start putting out pretty soon. I think this will look really good with jeans. It would look good with jean skirts. It would look good with shorts. And also actually, I think I'm gonna pair it with my knit shorts that I got from Princess Polly, which I'll show you those too. I got these from Princess Polly. They're just these high-waisted cream knit shorts, but I've seen a lot of girls in like Australia, a lot of Australia influencers wearing these knit shorts with literally everything and they look so cute. They pair perfectly with everything and I feel like it's perfect for the beach. And I also feel like those shorts would look really cute with this top I got from Princess Polly. It's this green and blue knit sweater it's a little oversized but it's super crop and it has a wrap front and the sleeves kind of are a little bit wider at the ends everything about this top is so cute so flattering the colors are very spring breaky so 
all three of these pieces are going to be packed, of course. I feel like all of the pieces that I'm probably going to bring with me are very interchangeable, so maybe I'll style it one way in this video, but that might not be how I actually wear it because I just change my mind all the time. The next piece I got is one of my favorites. It is this vintage silk midi dress. Well, I would say it's a maxi dress. It has this gorgeous green and blue floral print all over. And it's bias cut and it's layered and it's literally just the prettiest dress ever. This with little kitten heels or little platform sandals would be really, really nice to just go out to dinner or just walk over by the beach at sunset. And I just love this. So this is definitely going to be packed. The next piece I got was this vintage oversized blazer. I just thought this was insane. I probably won't keep this for myself because I don't really know where I'll wear this one. It's a little bit big for me. But again, another Pucci inspired print and it's pink and green and blue and black and it's just this insane pattern blazer with an oversized fit and button up front and I just thought this was the coolest thing. Kind of just goes with everything I've been saying about blazers, like it just looks good with everything. But I love that this kind of brings the blazer, I feel like blazers are more of like fall winter thing and this kind of incorporates it into spring. So I love this, I'm not gonna pack this but I did think this one was really cool. The next piece I got is one of my favorites. It's this vintage Calvin Klein bright pink and yellow floral print cami top. It's got like an o-ring cutout on the neckline and it says on the side Calvin Klein jeans embroidered into it and it's just so cute. It has that classic Calvin tag. And it's a little bit big for me, so I usually just, whenever something's too big for me that I like, I just tie it up in the back and wear it as a crop top, as you guys probably know. But this is definitely probably gonna be packed, just because I think with jeans and shorts and everything, it's a good basic, and if I'm not feeling too crazy with my outfit or whatever, that's just a good easy piece to throw on. The next piece I found was another basic. It is Ann Taylor, it's this little green, what? It's this purple. That was weird. Ribbed short sleeve top with a button up front. It's kind of like a cardigan fit and I grab these all the time whenever I find them because I just love the way that they look with everything, jeans, shorts, skirts, and it's silk and so it's very breathable. And I feel like this is just kind of like the last top I was showing you guys where like, it just will look good with anything and if I'm in doubt with the outfit that I have on, I can just put this on and know that I'll feel cute and put together. So I grabbed that, so I'll probably pack that. I love the color and the fit is a little boxy, so everything about it is definitely 10 out of 10, so I will be packing that. I don't know how I'm going to fit all of this stuff in my bag that I saying I'm gonna pack. Then I found this vintage black sparkly wrap top. It's kind of hard to hold up and show you guys, but it's this really, really pretty, like mesh, opaque, long sleeved top and it ties in the front, it's a little wrap top and it's honestly not that see through on but it is in my hand. Um, I love the way that this looks. I feel like this will be a good piece in case we decide to go out anywhere. I could do that with like a black mini skirt and maybe some black platforms. I'm starting to get nervous. I can't control myself. This one is my favorite one of the whole haul. I found this dress the other day and Everything about it just reminded me of like Devin Lee Carlson, Bella Hadid, and what they've been wearing in dresses. So I grabbed this, in my size, dark brown crochet beaded midi dress. And it has a V neckline. It's by Carmen Mark Volvo. I'm not sure that I'm familiar with that brand, but it is literally one of the prettiest dresses I've ever seen in my life. I will probably never get rid of this just because this is insane. Um, I think I'll probably do kitten heels or platform slides with this and that would be definitely like my nice going out to dinner dress and that with like a mini bag and my hair pulled back. I'm so excited to style this and I probably will post some pictures in this because I want to show it off because it's so pretty. Love that. That is going to be packed. Okay, I have another piece for the not bringing with me pile but I do still love it anyways. It is this vintage Cousteau Barcelona top. It's maroon and silver striped. It's sparkly. It's a long sleeve top and it has this interesting abstract mesh like patchwork on it. And I'm not sure what the pattern is exactly, but it's very cyber internet-esque. I'm not sure how I would even describe it, but I love Cousteau Barcelona. So finding anything that's Cousteau is always a win. This one won't go on my trip with me because I'm not sure if I'm feeling very cyber for spring break, but I do love this and this one is gonna be so fun to style with like mini skirts and jeans and this also I feel like would look really cute with like black low rise pants. So I'll probably show that too. 
Okay, I have a piece that's undecided. I don't know if I'm gonna bring them with me yet. They are these vintage Levi's high-waisted jeans. They are insane, a perfect fit on me. I have no idea what they are, so if anyone recognizes the tag or anything, let me know because I'm curious to know what these are. They fit almost like between 505s and 501s and it has a zip fly with a button closure. They're like a straight tapered skinny leg fit. Everything about these is perfect. I literally love them, but I just don't know if it's going to be spring breaky enough. I love these and these are going to be a forever keep and they are literally tiny. It's so hard to find vintage jeans in a smaller size, especially ones that are as interesting as these. So these are a keep, but I don't think I'm going to pack them. The next piece I got is another, I'm not sure if I'm gonna pack it yet, but it is this vintage Betty Page baby lilac purple crop top. It's this weird like terry knit material. I don't know that I would even call it either. It's kind of like right in between, but it's a super stretchy crop top and I just love the color and fit. I think the texture on it is so interesting that it'll just look good with anything. So I feel like this maybe will be brought with me, maybe with like a little skirt just in case we go out shopping or something, but I'm not 100% on this one, but I do love it anyway. So that one was a really good find. I got this vintage express mini skirt. I thought this was just perfect for spring break time because of the floral, but it still kind of has greens and blues, which if you have seen my Instagram lately, I am very into greens and blues right now. And it's just this A-line bodycon mini skirt and I paired it with this top that I also thrifted and it is vintage international concepts. And I cropped the bottom off of course, but it has this tortoise halter neckline and it's just a little basic ribbed tank, but I feel like this looks exactly like something that Urban Outfitters would put out and it's kind of crazy that it's actually vintage. So I feel like that outfit together with some platforms and a mini bag is gonna look so cute at the beach. And I just love that. I feel like that could be worn to dinner, shopping, just walking around. I feel like that's a good easy outfit that I can rely on. So I'm packing both of those. The next piece I got is a little bit crazy. I forgot to bring it over to shoot a video of a try on but I'm obsessed with it and it is this vintage one-piece swimsuit. It's just like the Speedo and it has super, super high cut legs and a scoop neckline and the back is literally completely open and the colors and the pattern, very Keith Haring. The brand is Eeny Meeny. Look at how cute that little tag is, but I love this. I think this again could be styled as a bodysuit with like a skirt or jean shorts or as a swimsuit on the beach. So I love this and I'm super excited to pack that for sure don't know if i actually get around to wearing it but you never know next piece is from my depop and i'm gonna pack that for my trip it is this white crochet cami top and i just love this i feel like it's a nice basic to have it'll look good with jeans skirts shorts everything and it still has a definitely beachy look i feel like the tan and the white is very beachy so i love this and i feel like that might even just be a good shopping shirt so i'm gonna bring that Next item I thrifted, I'm probably not gonna bring with me because it's not beach attire, but it is this amazing vintage Paris, France sweatshirt. It's all gray, it's this nice crew neck with this oversized fit, has the Eiffel Tower and the embroidery on it. Everything about this is adorable and I feel like that with biker shorts and some sneakers is gonna be really cute. Maybe I'll bring it as like my driving shirt, just like a cozy or like pajama situation because it gets a little chilly at night. But I'm super excited about this. I love this. I love being able to find the vintage crew necks because I feel like the quality on a vintage sweatshirt is so much nicer than what you guys would find like literally anywhere. So I always try and even if it's just a plain solid color, I always get my crew necks at the thrift store. Okay, I have another piece from my Depop shop that I'm gonna bring on the trip with me just because I feel like it's the perfect going out dress just in case, you never know. You have to prep for all occasions because I normally don't do that much stuff, but you never know what's gonna happen. You wanna be prepared. So I have this blue and green and black floral mini dress with like a deep V front and O-ring. This dress is so flattering. It's very spandexy material, and so it's definitely snatching and makes everything look good. I think that with like kitten heels and a mini bag, just in case we do end up going out anywhere or going to like a nice fun party type meal, I feel like that's gonna be a good piece to bring. So I'm gonna bring that just in case as like my crazy occasion going out dress. Okay, this is my last thrifted piece, but I still have one more that I have to go grab and show you guys. 
I got this vintage oversized white and red floral sweater. It's very basic, but I felt like the flower and the fit of it would be like a good beach cover up. It was like a hibiscus Hawaiian type feel. So I definitely grabbed that for spring break. Don't know that I'm gonna pack it on my trip, but I do love this. I love that it looks cute with jeans. It looks good with shorts. I honestly probably would like it better with shorts just because I can't really do jeans and a long sleeve in spring break, but I loved this. I thought it was so pretty and I love that this floral goes onto the sleeve too. I feel like that's really interesting. And I have one more piece that I'm packing on my trip that I specifically want to show you guys, so I have to go grab it really quickly, but I'm obsessed with it. Okay. Over Valentine's Day, my boyfriend took me to the mall because he just knows the key to my heart is shopping. Um, but I found these incredible high-waisted newspaper print jeans from Zara. And I am obsessed with the way that Zara jeans fit. Everything about them is perfect. They're very affordable compared to other jeans, I feel like. They're $50 for this pair. And I feel like most other brands would charge like upwards of $150, $200 for something like this. They're like non-stretch, 100% cotton, and they look just like the new With Dawn collection that I have been eyeballing some dresses on. But I am obsessed with these. These are definitely like my favorite piece that I've bought in the store in a long time. I've been looking for something like this, so I love these and wanted to show you guys them. Those are going on my trip. I think I'll probably wear them to a concert my boyfriend and I will be attending on our trip. I'm not gonna say any more about it because I don't wanna spoil what my video is gonna be next week, but I'm so excited about these and everything. And yeah, that was a little of a smaller haul, I feel like. But I thought it would be fun if I just showed you guys some of my favorite spring break pieces that I was going to bring on my trip with me. I'm going to continue thrifting throughout the weekend until it's time for us to go. So this packing list may be completely wiped by the time that I keep thrifting and find more stuff. So that's the fun part of thrifting though. It just is never ending. You never know what you're going to get. I'm so excited to style it all and show you everything and take pictures and for you guys to see my video next week or videos. I'm not sure yet. But I'm so excited to bring you guys along on this trip with me, and I hope you enjoyed today's video. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you next week. Love you guys. Bye!